So this is a lady I have seen before on other television shows. Okay. But this is a super grainy, like, home video type thing. Clearly, they're recording this for maybe promotional purposes. It's just, like, a home with some people in it. You see? Yeah, it's like everybody's a house. lined up. Well, they have like they're is sitting on house? folding chairs. I don't know if it's a house or <laughs> recreational center. Well, I was going to say it looks like a fire, like firehouse building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Firemen go. Know. It's a nice rug, though. <laughs> it is a nice rug. Yeah, it's the same rug, blues. It's, <laughs> it's the same litter box that I have here at my house. <laughs> That's a nice rug. <laughs> Can I shit on that? You mind if I poop on that? <laughs> Imagine if I walked into somebody's house. It's like, really? where'd you get it? Yeah, because I need a place to shit. I've got to go to the bathroom yeah, no, badly. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this lady as she works her psychic magic okay. like, on the room. <clears throat> oh, sorry. A question. Here. That, um, let, me, uh, let me rewind it a little bit. Here we go. This is a, a question that um, it's very important to me about my song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've written a song. And I want more than anything else this one wish for this my song because I sang it for my dad before just a week before he passed on. Oh my God, this sounds like so many people I grew up. But this is my dad a week before he passed on. He says such a Chicago accent. This is clearly filmed in the Midwest. Is she the psychic? Or no, she's is not the she's psychic the person. And, asking. and I don't get why she started with the song. I'm not yeah. really sure, but uh, yeah. the psychic plays it was, along. It was here. important yeah, to her. I think she thinks she's like on. You know, America's Got Talent, <laughs> and even though this was filmed in 1982, I think she thinks this is like an audition for something. But the psychic jumps in here. And he liked it, and he said he was going to be listening for it. Um, and he didn't know he was going to pass the next week, and I didn't. And the song... He found Wait, out, and then yeah. 22 seconds <laughs> later, seconds when later. he actually died. I'm going to die! <laughs> <laughs> 22 seconds is all I got! <laughs> but then you can't say that, can you? No. It's like it, it was meant to be... Just meant to be written. And I... I want to know the guy that's is holding the microphone. Yeah, Chris Cornell. Is, I was gonna say, is he like the '96 rock PA from yeah. from, a, so from the '80s? You got to see the visuals on this, but it's a lady, and she's just tall, skinny, with red hair—the kind of red hair that you only get by going to the old lady hair salon, where they make your, yes. they just dye your hair red because she's that's the blouse. only color that gray will take. She's gone on a fantastic flowery blouse and then the guy yeah, the has guy. got a ponytail yeah. he's gotta be in his early 20s and he's got some kind of rock t-shirt he's on. straight out of the movie singles yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> True for it as am i ever going to get anywhere with it to have it recorded by anybody where it's going to be played on the radio <laughs> well am i a record executive <laughs> Sit down and shut up. I'm here to tell people about their loved ones. <laughs> oh, I see somebody with a leg. Who's got a leg? <laughs> Who had a family member with a leg? <laughs> Care about your fucking song. <laughs> um, not until he learns a certain lesson. He has to... Um, he has to own up to the sum of the things he's done. Is she drunk? Okay, so yeah, <laughs> here we go. We start, we dive right into the bullshit right away. So, get this. Lady stands up, gives this long convoluted thing about how her dad passed and no one had any idea. Of course she had no idea. No one knows when they're going to die, right? So this lady, my dad passed. Yeah, I wrote this song, song for him. I want to know if it's ever going to be a hit single. That's right. what she wants to know. <laughs> and this other lady goes, not until he learns a lesson. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> huh? I got to learn a lesson. <laughs> you got to learn a lesson. No one gets anywhere for free, kid. Spread them now. <laughs> Ass, grass, or gas. No one rides for free. <laughs> My father. Oh, I, I don't understand what you what you mean. No one does. Well, I mean, he passed away. Uh, he was a very good man. <laughs> well, reincarnation. Uh, now, how does that affect my song? <laughs> <laughs> how does that affect my song? How does that affect my future royalties? <laughs> I've got my manager here with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will that be in my contract? 
<laughs> yeah, she seems very confused. She's everyone's very confused. Yes. Well. Like Look confused. at that guy too. His face. He's, <laughs> he's like, like, let's see what happens next. That's the best thing that's ever happened at '96 Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm I sorry, I can't hear oh, you very well. Um, I was wondering because <laughs> uh, I wrote the song and I sang it for him, but. Is there any hope for my song that I, that I, uh, is anybody going to ever record it nationwide that it's going to be heard on the radio? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is quite the request. Okay. The dude from, you know, 92.6 Dick <laughs> in Minneapolis should immediately go, yes, we will play your song, yeah. I promise you, on give our this, morning give show. Me the disc. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I got a great place for you to play that song. It's called The Commercial Break. You're going to be a hit, kid. You're going to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Tomorrow throws in funny interjections. In this. And he all, probably, when did he die? A year ago, November. He probably hasn't come back yet in another <laughs> life. <laughs> there's, <laughs> a, there's a there's a there's a line. There's a, there's there's a, a window wait list. that people have to go through a hole. You have to be vetted. You've got to go get the permits. That's, and <laughs> that's right, Chrissy. With uh, with the coronavirus, they're short staffed in the reincarnation department. They're trying to put new skin together as quick as possible. It's not easy to find a baby body to inhibit. You know what I'm saying? He could come back as a toad, though, and possibly sing your song. Let me give you ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> oh, my God. This lady. She's for so Wow. Off. Someone's been giving her some pain medication. Yeah. She looks out of she's it. She's drunk or on something. Oh, my God. I don't think oh. She's wondering about oh. her song. <laughs> she, she wrote a song, and she wants to know if it's going to get recognition. You have to get it get out there. <laughs> You'll have to get, get it out there. <laughs> you have to get it out there like my dentures. <laughs> Their dentures are falling out. <laughs> you have to get it out there. <laughs> mail it into all the send it to, via mail to all the big record companies in uh, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh it might gosh. be a little past your prime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a tour coming up you can open for me. <laughs> doors. Oh, I, I am. I am. It's um all the doors are closed. You can't you can't find anybody to win. Oh. <laughs> you can't find anybody um who will um you know if they don't know me. There's no one who will... Well, I'm sorry, Jean. What do you want from me? I'm just an old lady who pretends to listen to dead people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you read the poster walking in, but this isn't about you. <laughs> she thinks this is an audition for American Idol. This is the funniest thing I to mean... me. I watched this three times. I, I just can't get over it. I, everyone's confused. Yes. The host is, I think he is like a host of a show. Okay. Because you can see he in the background. He looks professional. Yeah. It's like meet Mark Candela or whatever, right? And then she walks in okay. looking to sing her song and the psychic who's 107 with her dentures falling out it's like I don't think he's been reincarnated yet who uh, I don't know wrong conversation I'm talking to someone that's dead I'm sorry I'm getting the confused I got two conversations going on right now do anything to help uh, did you tell her about Joe what I'm Joe? sorry why don't you tell her about Joe? We know of someone that could possibly help you. <laughs> Joe. Unfortunately, he died in 1963. <laughs> <laughs> He's been dead for a long time, but for the low, low price of $7,000, I might be able to hook up a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> With the two of you, he's still got a lot of connections in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Unfortunately, they're all dead also, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> Tell her about <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Have you told her about Mark? <laughs> Mark's got cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a real ear for this kind of shit. <laughs> Call me on my personal. <laughs> she says she knows someone that can possibly help you with oh. your song. Oh, well, I'd like to I'd like to know about that. <laughs> my husband can tell you. You can? <laughs> Everybody this You can? <laughs> this is my lucky day. <laughs> Thank God I came to this weird room yeah. with a rug. <laughs> Thank God I came to this storm shelter <laughs> to see this lady. I had no idea who she was. <laughs> I thought the television crew was there for me. You know, it's the last door you knock on sometimes. Sometimes it's... <laughs> with these two ladies, it looks like literally the last door they might be knocking on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Psychic Tita's husband, Willie, everybody. Psychic Tina. Oh. Oh, there's Willie. Oh, my God. He looks Gee, like. Oh, there he I looks am. like. Oh, and, <laughs> wait. He looks like that cult leader guy that, uh, that said the aliens were going to come to Earth and um, they did the Nikes. They bought a, all Nike oh, shoes. The, and, uh, <laughs> SpongeBob cult or whatever it was. The, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The uh, Yeah, the cult. And. In Los yes. Angeles, where everyone died. Yeah, yeah that okay. was going to come on the comet. He was going to come on the comet. The, 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 uh, the, the, Haley Bop Haley yeah, yeah, or Haley yes. Bop or whatever it was <laughs> yeah. called. Haley Bop, yeah. He's, I think there's a HBO special about him. That guy looks Well, maybe very that is similar. the guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to meet my husband, everybody. Take a sip of the Kool-Aid <laughs> <Yes>. now. <laughs> I've got, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm ensuring my work for years to come. <laughs> I'll be talking to you all soon. <laughs> I got to stuff. <laughs> them to the Middle Earth with a bunch of people is uh, we're running low. <laughs> I'll ask you the question too. Uh, I wonder, will I ever become rich? <laughs> will your husband ever become rich, oh, I feel Tita? Rich. I, I feel <laughs> <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Her the husband, husband is like 30 years younger than she is. He's riding her coattails, man. This is a sugar papa right here. I see what's going on. So blessed. I really do. So, I mean, it's not just... Very soon. You know, but, you know, she but, says very- I want to ask Tito a question. I want to know if she's ever going to find out about my lover, <laughs> Stephen. Does she know? <laughs> oh, you mean Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe. <laughs> Tell him about Joe, the guy who's always at the house, <laughs> cutting the bushes and singing the songs. <laughs> he gives you the shower because you can't reach your back. You know the one. Right. <laughs> Very soon. Good. I'm going I'm to remain his friend then. <laughs> and is it going to be safe for me to go home with you tonight? <laughs> yes. Now, what's it, what's it like to like, be is married? It? <laughs> is it? No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you drive like a devil. <laughs> Every time your dentures fall out, you just reach to the floor. <laughs> Oh, I love this lady. To a psychic. Is that is that weird? Does Number that freak one. you out? Number one, okay, this is 27 years later. You don't get away with anything. And I keep telling her, turn your mind off. Stop thinking, right? You can't surprise her. That sounds like <laughs> Daffy Duck. I keep telling her, turn that mind off right now. <laughs> Suckering, suck it You can't get away with anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 